Hello, this is a, a quick update to the TI Cloud tools. Uh, basically, you can see that the basic functionality is still here, the three main tools, uh, and just a brief highlight on the on the additional devices supported by the Resource Explorer, which are the AM335, AM437 uh, devices, as well as their uh, development kits, such as the IDK and the EVM. And most of these updates for the to the Citara devices uh, were added uh, documentation. So you don't have example codes, but documentation, which is still makes for a, a great uh, one-stop shop for the information about these uh, Citara devices. Uh, back into the GI Cloud tools, the Pinmux also added uh, features now the added uh, AM437X device, which also makes it for a, a good uh, for a good added and one-stop shop for all things uh, Citara. And what's interesting is the biggest change now uh, is for the CCS Cloud which you can tell here, it changed a little bit on its interface. You have now a, a flash button here, which is similar to the previous uh, to the previous uh, button here, the play button that was in the toolbar. And now we have a, a debug functionality, which we'll explore a, bit, a little bit further. Uh, also, uh, the, TI the CCS Cloud supports uh, the, the new multitasking uh, Energia, which is which is quite interesting. Uh, so Energia came with the for certain devices, selected devices, you have uh, multitasking based on the the TI RTOS uh, real time operating system, and we have we can uh, import these and flash these uh, using CCS Cloud now and edit of course just create some projects with it. So basically you can simply. Uh, Add the project just like before, and you can simply uh, flash the 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 project just like before. It's a one single click. Uh, the other thing that you can actually uh, that you can actually see here is that the uh, debug output can be filtered with some interesting uh, nice buttons here. That's the status of the flashing. That's the serial port if you actually want to communicate with your target. And that's console I.O. if you have printfs and stuff. And the gel is just the the basic device initialization. Uh, so in this case, I I can simply uh, connect. Well, actually, I was already connected to my uh, MSP 32 launchpad. And basically, here I can have. I'm pressing the button on my <laughs> on my board, and you can tell that the uh, that the the the, the serial co uh, connection reacts to it. Uh, the idea here is that this, th although this seems very similar to a basic e energy example, this actually is using, a, as the description says, it's using the full uh, TIR TOS with all this flexibility of multitasking. Uh, so that's definitely a, an interesting, uh, 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 a good thing to do. Now on to the the next big thing, which will be the full debug capabilities as well. You can. Also, just like as a uh, single click automation, you can simply click on the debug, it will build the code for you, and you actually add, super nifty, the debugging views here. Uh, basically, you can, you can, as you can see, you can do full source code debugging, uh, C source code debugging, that's where your code is halted, and you have the, the debug controls here, you can just put it to run freely, you can halt, and then you can step into functions, step uh, over functions, or get out of uh, the function that you just stepped into. So that's actually pretty, pretty interesting. Also, you have uh, you can actually watch uh, express. You can make uh, type expressions or, or or type or watch global variables. For instance, in this case, I can do a, a periods, which is a, a an array of four elements for instance you can show them here you can also set the 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 type the display type of 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 the variable itself of the contents of the variable itself 
and uh, basically what it shows here is basically the variable its its address in memory and what is this type and then once you expand actually it will show you the location of e each and every element of the array and the type that that each element of the array is shown you can also do this for uh, structures and all that stuff so you have a different sets of things you can so basically stepping or you can also set no, another nice thing as well you can also set breakpoints uh, several breakpoints oops I guess I collapsed at some piece of code here yes you can set unbelievable you can set breakpoints here um, you can uh, you can do all sorts of, of things so basically when you, s you set a breakpoint you just run and it stops at the first one and then the second and the third and then the fourth and then now you can simply just step over this function and then uh, you can you can step into this function and then it actually goes entirely to a new context and you can step out of it so you go back to your main code basically that's the basic functionality of it so I think that's it you can put it to run my out of, out of box experience example is, is is running now I I hope you enjoyed it and uh, watch out for next updates to the cloud too. Thank you.